Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will start create this building so uh, I know you like when I'm creating some uh, famous building like messing or trying to make a dyna dynamo but actually we are architects we are spending uh, most of our time to create some uh, simple building or some standard one so we will try to make this is simple building but it doesn't mean this is not interesting so uh, if you're interesting just let's get started so when I say to this building it's not simple as you can see uh, you can look at right now on this building it looks like uh, so something like cube but if we will go to the section here we will find on the arch daily the section you can see we have the basement thing but you doesn't you cannot see this on the picture because it's around this side so it's really interesting the solution of this building and i will try to make it as you can see this is section and here the other one section even we will create this section too in revit because this building uh, it's completely done in revit so we can follow up it and do the same thing uh, in revit uh, so i think this is enough talking and let's go to the our uh, Revit and let's create the new family and I will use some standard arch template so because we don't need any special things here uh, so here we are and what we're gonna do we need uh, load that up uh, this uh, this plan so let's do it I will try just to copy I don't think so it's working but anyway I will try so it, as I said it's not working anyway we will go to the manage and we will find here the manage images and let's add the man, man, some images here I think I have one here let's let's try let's change the view is it this one or this one so let's say uh -huh, it's here let's open up and as you can see it's here now inside our manager let's place it here and we have now we know where is our first level i mean the basement first level and second and on and on let's start from this level and what i'm gonna do now first i wanna scale it scale it up let's scale to scale it right we should understand uh, for example, let's say this door. Uh, this door is 1000 millimeters, so it's kind of uh, looked like true because uh, this door it should be, be from the 700 to the 900. So let's make a door 900 millimeters. It will be more right. So here is my line. Uh, let's choose the scale. Scale from this point, that point to that point so now it's look more like in real life uh, so what we're gonna do now now i want to uh, make some grids as always let's make some grids i will put one grid here and the second one as you can see our steel bar is here so i have only two two grids here okay and here it's three let's change the name to the a and Revit will automatically change the name. So it doesn't matter now how we are placing because we will change it later on. And here it will be D. Why not? So now I will use dimension. Let's use dimension like this. And here I want to make dimension too. Uh, let's check my dimension. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, now it's all. Uh, the numbers it's right it's not true and we will change it right now so what i mean when i say it uh it's not true uh let's look on this number it's like 4200 4500 and 8059 uh so let's go uh let's choose this all numbers let's go to the edit type and let's duplicate it and we will call like uh, check numbers uh, let's go to the here to the units format and now I will change to the custom one or maybe three now let's make the custom one and I will make like this let's say okay let's say okay and now you will see yeah here it's right 4200 and oh, everything zero but it's not here is the totally wrong 
and what about here let's change also to the check number and here everything okay so we will go back we will change to the standard one and we will make it now more right so this will be 2000 i think no 1800 it will be more right uh, here i think this is will be around this side and that one 400 4200 so this is looks right this is looks okay that one not let's change it to uh -huh. and here it's definitely 1800 nope i'm wrong 2000 i think so even now <laughs> So let's make like this. Okay. So what's going on here? Let's check it out. I think it should be, be like in this side. And that one will be 4100. Even 4000. Let's try. No, 4100. Let's leave it. It's more close to the true. So as you can see now everything uh, okay yeah and now I want um, lock this picture so how I can do that just select and pin objects and now let's pin this object now I cannot select this object anymore and let's do the same thing with all the grids because now our grids is right I don't want to change it and let's pin it so i cannot choose now my grids i can work so and right now we can create our first walls so uh, let's go to the walls uh, now generic 200 it doesn't matter now uh, more uh, more now it's important only the Mm, location uh, line so I will use the wall center line so this is right for this situation mm, and let's make like this I just will make the round and like this use the tree uh, trim and we get this all shape uh, why I did like this uh, because here it's different walls as you can see now it's more bigger in that side here it's more thin so let's use the slice sl and let's slide somewhere here now i will change these three walls to different one it will be 300 millimeters let's say so here is something close here it should be, be more bigger let's go to the edit type and let's write here the 500 millimeters and i think this is will be enough let's try 500 millimeters let's say okay okay and now i will change oh sorry edit type and structure we should change to here to the 500 let's say 500 let's say okay let's say okay so now it looks more close what we want here it will be same thing 300 millimeters and align by this side mm -hmm. uh, what about this side it's 300 millimeters too so let's do 300 millimeters and this side also 300 millimeters uh, to to now everything okay let's make a line only in this side so just align and i cannot align by this okay i will do it manually no problem everything okay everything looks okay so yes and let's continue that's that side it here will be smaller walls it's 200 millimeters only uh, let's make like this and we will we will use a line again to align by exterior side so oh here is my wrong let's use a line again now everything looks okay so uh, what we're gonna do now else uh, we will create these walls let's go again to the walls and i'm sure this is 150 only let's use the 150 only and let's make it one and two oh we did it and here the column 
let's go to the column let's find the sum column we don't have any nice column let's go to the architecture one and let's find some of the columns so this is column as you see it's more smaller than i want than i want so let's check so i think it's uh 800 let's say 800 by 700 go to the edit type duplicate 700 by 800 let's say okay and let's change it here 700 by 800 let's say okay i will use the space bar to change the direction and let's make it like this so now it looks okay let's copy this uh wall i will copy oh i mean the column sorry let's copy it on this side it's here it's too big too big what we want uh let's change it here will be also 800 but only 400 let's say like this 400 800 let's say okay and let's put it inside this part so no we need 200 more in this side let's do 1000 and here rename to 1000 like this let's say okay let's say okay so now we are close to the true let's save our project don't forget you should save as much as well you as you can and let's say like tiny building let's say okay let's say okay and we have here the one wall it looks like wall actually let's put the wall here 100 it will be enough let's do 100 and we did it as as this they did mm -hmm. so everything okay everything okay so and now we'll check check the dimensions because i want to make dimensions right so i don't like this number we will change it right now and let's change it here so what we will start from that side you can change like this okay let's change to the 100 1100 too much let's make it 1000 only let's change this wall i'm using the top right now and let's change it to the 1100 or 1000 like this this looks better let's use this dimension and let's check it too mm -hmm. also it's so bad number let's make it 2000 yeah i know it's going a bit inside but or maybe like this it looks more better now all our numbers it looks more better than was before except this one i'm sure this is really terrible number let's check it out yeah as i said let's make it still like this okay so here everything should be okay yeah here everything okay so let's save it again and uh, we already finished first level first we will finish with all our walls after that we will uh, switch to the uh, floors and from the floors we will start to create our um, uh, our staircases as you can see the first level is totally same as this part so we can select all these things except of course this one and we don't need these walls and column so and what we're gonna do just copy it paste paste by level level two let's say okay we get some problem because if you will go to the level two i mean the to the 3d you can see all these walls not going on the right place so let's going back let's go to 3d again uh, so what we're gonna do uh, actually uh, i will use um, ways my manage you can do it manually if you want uh edits quick select and quick select all walls and here the top constraint i will choose the level two so now everything okay let's go back to the level one 
I will select again everything except this one and that one. Let's again copy, paste, paste by level, level 2, let's say OK, let's go to 3D and as you can see everything alright. Let's choose this all walls and uh -huh, we don't have um, enough levels. Let's the, add the, some levels like 1, oh, I forgot, I multiply, 2, 3, 4, I think it will be enough, let's go to 3D. Let's select again all these walls and let's say top constraints level level 3. Oh, level 2. This was right. So it's more or less my mistake. So level 2. No, it's level 3. I'm right. That's what's going on. Ah, yeah, because the top of set it's 4 meters. That's why I'm thinking like, oh my god, what's going on? So now everything okay. And as you can see, we did already the first level and the second one. I mean the basement and the first level. Uh, the other levels I will uh, do, I think, more faster. Let's do it. So actually I need now level 1 I have, level 2 we have, and we need level 3. Let's go to the view. Mm, plans, floor plans, and let's find here the level 3 here. Let's open up level 3 and I want I want to see what's going on uh, uh, under this floor. Uh, let's go to the underlay and let's say I want to see what's going on on the level 2 so I can see already. Uh, now we will go to the manage, um, now manage images and let's place the instance. Okay. Uh, as we know, uh, this is not right. My, oh, this is not right because we scaled. Let's go to this level, unpin this one, copy it, and let's go here, paste, align the same, same place, and let's choose the position, for example, to this side. something like that yeah this is everything right so let's lock it again and this one I want to lock it too okay uh, now I can I can draw now <laughs> so what's going on here mm, okay okay and now I need to create the walls let's go to the architecture walls and here actually it's 150 as you can see I will change the finish face finish face exterior just spacebar no it's 200 actually we will change right now it's okay I will do first like this just bounding box and now by tab key I will change to the 200 yes it's 200 millimeters let's go to the 3d now I will use the command align and let's align everything on the right position so okay and this one the height is not okay let's change to the uh, level 4 and now actually we can copy it to the all levels as you can see everything same so let's do it copy levels level 4 level 5 and level 6 let's do it let's go to the 3d and here is our building Actually, this one it's not so so big. It will be like um, unconstrained, and maybe it's like 900 millimeters. So it will be like this. Actually, we finish with all walls. Uh, now we will uh, now we will switch to the um, floors, and after that uh, we will create um, staircase. So I think we will do it only in the second. Uh, second video so for today it's in more than enough i think you already your mind it's blow up already uh thank you for watching guys and uh, see you till next video and uh, in the next video we will finish uh, 3d form of our building and maybe i will do one more video and where we will render it and we will do something looks like this one so i mean we will try to render uh near to this picture Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. 
and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time